Hey guys, good morning. It's Tony. Please give me a like really quickly if you guys can. Um, I'm gonna go through this video really quick because I had my audio turned off for the recording. Um, I basically went to my it went into my video and said that all TA is bearish. I'm personally still bullish. Um, I don't think the FOMC was enough news to actually push this all the way down. But really what I was trying to say is that if we break this little trend, this little white trend coming from up here all the way down here, if we break this to the upside, I still think that we're going to push past 407, right? If we push the past this, then cool. Um, if we actually break this trend to the low end, uh, I actually think that you're, you know, the, we're probably on a trajectory to, to close that 374 gap and possibly lower. Um, I also wanted to say that all TA is basically bearish. Um, on the weekly again, if you guys are going to be doing anything, don't follow what I'm doing right now, right? Because my sentiment is still bullish. Like I don't think that news was enough to tank us extremely hard. Um, but all all sense all TA is bearish, right? You still had this long trend break, right? You had a weekly bear close here at 393, right? So technically, we're still we're in a bear we're in a bearish cycle on the weekly, and that's huge. Every single time that that's happened, we've had a ridiculous drop from the upside, right? Again, drop from 460 to 360, $100 drop, drop from 430 to 349, right? And again, would not be surprised if we do the same thing here. We can probably drop from like 414 down to maybe like 320 or something, right? So as of right now, TA says we could drop to 320. I personally am not bearish yet. Will I be, but will, will I be bearish? Possibly, but again, the only way that I'll be bearish is if you break this trend to the downside or if you break this trend to the upside, I still think we were going to 407, 44, like 407, 430 within a month or two, right? Not 100% convinced that I'm, that everything is completely bearish, even though TA is bearish, right? So if you guys are going to do anything, obviously look for shorts, right? That's, that's what you guys should be doing because that's what TA says. Kind of going against the grain here. Still, I'm still a little bit on the bullish side. I'm not completely convinced that everything's 100% bearish yet. Um, again, the dollar did pop up. I do think it's going to come back down. Um, and again, SPX 500, it does look like it's going to be running up again. So I did add a bunch of longs. I mean, these are my, oh, that's my, probably should have shown that. That's my daughter. These are my positions right now. These are my longs. I'm probably going to add more longs at five o'clock in the morning. So at, in two minutes, I'll probably add more longs. Um, like I said, I am definitely more, um, you know, I'm definitely more bullish. I mean, you still haven't broken this trend. You're technically still in market structure, right? You know, you're, you're lower high, lower high, lower high. And then you have these higher highs, um, you know, being created here. So I think personally that we're going to go back and fill the gap at 400 because you had a huge drop overnight, right? So <coughs> personally, I think we're going to go up, fill that gap, um, and keep pushing towards the upside. Again, that's just my opinion. Um, we're kind of like in the little funky road right now where TA is 100% bearish, but I'm, I'm, my gut says bullish still. So I'm gonna go with my gut this time. Just, I still think we have one more push. And if that push doesn't do anything crazy, then I probably turn bearish, right? Because this this drop and this rise and drop have, has been a pretty uh, pretty crazy insane uh, you know move right these these turn of events have been pretty nuts on the news. Um, again, I don't know. I can't be a hundred percent. I'm still not a hundred percent bearish yet. I still think I, you know we can keep pushing to the upside. Um, you know somebody requested Netflix right now. Again, I you know I think Netflix. Let me see. I can look at this really quickly. Netflix again. TA on TA on Netflix is you know bearish, right? You did close that gap up here at three thirty three. You know it does look like you're probably gonna push all the way back down, maybe to trend at like two seventy two or something, right? I'm telling you guys, you know, TA still is bearish, right? I would definitely be okay saying that this is probably gonna come down to trend here and then push up. But, you know, it all really depends on what the spy is doing, right? It all really depends on what spy is going to do. If spy is going to keep going up, everything's going to go up. If, um, you know what, if the dollar's going to drop, then everything's going to drop, right? Again, see, you're starting to break to the upside on, <clears throat> starting to break to the upside on, on SPX. So I'm more than likely, look at that, see? Let's go ahead and open another lot. <laughs> I'll do this right now with you guys, right? Bye. We'll open another lot on SPX as well. Trade. Buy. Right. So I'll run that for now. Again, you might actually come down short term on the 15 minute, maybe come down to like 394-ish or something. But again, it's 
I don't know, like I'm not 100% bearish yet. And I'm probably going to stick to that until we actually break this trend down here or we break the trend up here. Um, Netflix, I think somebody requested it. Netflix again. I think Netflix is probably going to trade sideways for now, maybe down a little bit. It really just depends on where SPY is going to go. And then somebody else requested plug. <clears throat> Plug, we can look in TA. Plug looks like it's actually creating a double bottom here. Plug actually looks like a pretty stable double bottom, especially, did it break lows? Yeah, it actually didn't even break lows. So honestly, I definitely say 1503. Yeah, I would I would definitely say that um, you have a really good chance at bottoming out here, or not bottoming out, or at least creating a bottom and then bouncing up back to like this area of like 29 bucks. So, I mean, I would definitely not, I would, I, I would, if I was playing this, I, I'd definitely do some like, you know, I'd definitely do some calls or shares. Um, plug seems like something that you would probably hold for a long time, um, to be honest. So you are, you are on that monthly bear trigger, but it seems like you've really just been trading sideways and you're bouncing off this major, major uh, support here at like 1469. Like you keep wicking off of that. So as of right now, I would say I'm bullish on this. I would say plug, you definitely, you're on the, still on the daily bull trigger. So I definitely say that plug is probably going back to 1819. Um, do we have any trends going on? Actually, we should have a trend going on here. Yeah, I think minimum you might actually see plug go back to like a 1660, but I think I I think I, I would be more comfortable saying that it's going back to like $18 or so. I mean, it, it looks like it's going back there. Do we have any more resistance or support? Where's the market structure here? Yeah, structure there. Yeah, I'd probably set it up here. Then you have your next set of structure there. Maybe like around this level, I'll do like that. And then you probably have your next level like somewhere. Yeah, I don't need to go up that high. Yeah, but I think, yeah, I think up. I mean, if I had a guess, I'd probably say it's probably going to continue up to the upside. You did not break this low of 1291. You did bounce down from here and you're currently just really just kind of hanging out on trend, right? I mean, this should actually be moved a little bit lower. There you go. That should probably work better. So yeah, you're still bouncing here. You're at the low. I think more than likely you are at a really good um, trajectory of bouncing back up because you are on the low end. So I'd probably be longing all this, right? Like you have your low here. We can have our Darvix box, our, our, our Darvis box for like the general area. Yeah, I think for the most part, there's a really good chance that you bounce back up to like 30 bucks. Maybe in the next, I don't know, whenever this takes, how long this is the low we hit was on May. You recovered back in August, May, June, July. So maybe in two months or so. I don't know. I'd probably go into shares here, right? Probably sell them back at, probably sell them when it hits 30 bucks. So that's actually pretty, that's actually pretty solid. I mean, buying maybe, you either buy shares for a full 100% gain or you buy like, um, what is it called? Or you buy like calls for possibly like a thousand percent gain. I mean, if you're buying calls and, it, and this actually hits within two, three months, it's looking pretty solid. You'd probably do like a really good multiple. But yeah, it looks like it's bouncing. It looks like it's probably going back up. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't look all that bad. And especially if you're not breaking these lows of this wick back here. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.